Hi everyone, my name is Caroline and today we'll go to the lab to see the impact of oil polarity on formulation stability. For this small lab session, we will do very simple emulsions with different emollients. They will be composed of water, magnesium sulfate, as electrolytes are essential for the good stabilization of water in oil emulsions, 5% of ammonium lustro, 25% of emollients, and a preservative. We will do five different trials in which we will only modify the oil phase composition. The process will always be the same and is really simple. All you need is to slowly pour the water phase into the oil phase under mixing and to mix during 10 minutes under high shear to ensure a good emulsification. We will try a vegetable oil, a silicon oil, an apolar emollient, a polar one and a mix of these two. Here we are using the vegetable oil. It seems that the emulsion is easily formed. It is white with a quite thick texture. However, the surface doesn't seem really smooth. We will now see our silicon oil trial. This time, we directly see that the emulsification process is disturbed. The two faces do not mix properly. We are now making our Apollo trial. We observe once again a disturbed emulsification process similar to that of the silicon oil test. On the contrary, with the polar emollient fully compatible with the emollient molustro, the emulsion is done really quickly and seems complete. It is fluid, white and shiny. We saw that emollient molustro was compatible with polar emollients but not with the polar ones. So what if we mix the two of them together? As you can see here, the emulsification is also successful. We obtain a white and shiny emulsion. Let's recap a little bit. Our test with the vegetable oil looked beautiful and stable at first, but after a few days, it becomes unstable. The emulsions based on silicon and apollo oils did not succeed. They both present phase separation, proving the incompatibility of emollient molustra with these types of emollient. On the contrary, the one done with the polar emollient is really white, fluid and shiny. The emulsification is perfect, highlighting the excellent compatibility of our emulsifier with this category of emollient. Finally, the emulsion obtained with the mix of polar and apolar emollient was also successful, as we obtained a beautiful white and shiny emulsion. This light trial proves that even though emollient molustro is mainly compatible with emollient presenting a high or medium polarity, it is possible to incorporate other types of emollients, such as apolar or silicon oils as long as the total amount of polycompatible oils do not exceed 30% of the total oil phase. To improve your chance of success, you can also add them after emulsification. <laughs>